Hello. My name is Roy Elsey. I'm Chief Analyst at Omdia. And this is the time of the year when we're talking about our trends to watch for 2024. Um, so this is in the IT operations space. And I've picked out five key trends just to sort of give you a, a view of what you can expect in IT ops uh, in 2024. The first one is related to Gen AI. Gen AI will become more pervasive. And in tools like AI ops, they're going to start to use it to make it easier to interact with the domain specific technologies. So you won't have to be a domain expert to be able to use and understand it. That is going to democratize IT operations. It's going to enable IT operations to be able to do much more with the same number of people. The second trend I think you're going to see is FinOps is going to mature because the whole financial management of the cloud is where FinOps has emerged from, and that's where it's predominantly still being used. But as FinOps becomes more mature, it's going to start to look beyond the cloud. It's going to start to look at on premises. It's going to start to look at value. So in essence, FinOps could become the value IT of many years ago in a way of making IT costs much more directly relatable to business activities and outcomes. The third area is edge management. Edge is going to continue to grow. Um, management and orchestration of the edge is something that we're beginning to see vendors come out with solutions for now. And so by the end of 24, I think you'll find there is a few vendors with specific, whether they call it cloud ops or whether they call it edge management and orchestration tools. Um, these are likely to also expand from the cloud core to the edge, so you'll be able to control, monitor, and manage a good breadth of uh, your corporate IT. The fourth one is DSIM, Data Center Infrastructure Management. It's been a little bit of a forgotten uh, part of the family, but I think um, that's because it was mainly an OT activity, not an IT activity. And what we're beginning to see now is the convergence of IT and OT. And through that convergence, you will start to see DSIM become much more relevant, particularly with environmental sustainability and carbon reduction tactics. And then finally, as the whole of the world seems to shift itself into platform engineering. So we're moving into supporting developing deploying platforms that can support agreed solutions and tools so your developers can have the selection of what they want providing it runs on that platform you know your users can have what they need providing it runs on that platform so the it operations team is managing the platform they're becoming platform engineers and the whole approach enables organizations to be much more agile. Thank you for listening. You can find my trends to watch at Omdia's website and you can find me on LinkedIn. Thank you very much.